So welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 18, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, it basically fell off a cliff today. However, we did not manage to break the 20 exponential moving average. So the chairman of the Federal Reserve basically came out and said that they're not going to change interest rates and they're going to be really low uh, and at least to at the end of 2023. So that's far into the future and they will also continue with their bond purchasing program of $120 billion. Um, so that did not build well for the US dollar index, which basically fell off a cliff. We had, did uh, pull a rally from the 20 exponential uh, the last uh, three trading days, and today we just, well, fell really hard. Technical indicators are all turning around. However, we did not break the 20 exponential. So we could see a continuation uh, after this, or we can fall towards the 50 moving average uh, for finding major support but not a really good day for the US dollar index and this also had major implication for indices, stocks and so on as there's a negative correlation between uh, the US dollar index and, and, and commodities and precious metals so let's look at oil so oil has been pulling back the last four trading days. And um, yes, we are. it looks like we are heading towards the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at the uh, uh, $63.24. Technical negatives are all turning uh, bearish at this point. So we most likely see a continuation of what we have been seeing in the past. That's basically we have been testing the 20 several times now and been rallying from that point a break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band at roughly at 58 or around 60 is most likely where we'll see a lot of buyers come in but uh, at this point we are most likely going to test the 20 exponential before rallying to the upside so let's look at natural gas So natural gas has tested the 200 moving average uh, yet again today. We basically passed it and then rallied above and settled above the, the 200 moving average. So back here, we also tested the 200 moving average and it has uh, offered quite a lot of support. So if we manage to break uh, below the 200 moving average, then yes, this can fall completely fall apart we're also entering the stages of the year when there is warmer conditions and there's less demand for natural gas and usually what we see is that we have a spike in the colder periods and then we have a gradual grind to lower levels and then a spike again so at this point we have had um, two actually spikes here uh, but uh, we have not broken the 200 moving average. And as long as that is the case, we may see a rally up towards the 20 exponential or the 50 moving average before continuing to the downside. Breaking above the 50 moving average could open the door all the way up to three, but uh, that is probably very optimistic at this point as we have tested the middle of the Bollinger Band uh, once and also the 50 moving average here and have been rejected both times. Technical indicators, they are very bearish at this point, but they are slowly turning around. So let's look at copper. So copper rallied quite significantly from the 20 exponential and uh, is continuing again to rally. Technical indicators are all turning around for copper, even though the MACD is still bearish at this point, other indicators are all turning around. So it looks like we are going to head at least towards the top of the bullish band at 4.27. Uh, pullbacks from here to the 20 exponential that will most likely uh, be bought into. So let's look at gold. So gold has rallied above the 20 exponential. And of course, this has also to do with uh, the, uh, the um, US dollar basically depreciating and uh, and so on so i don't think that we're going to go significantly higher from here 
We may see this go a little bit past the 20 exponential, but we have seen that several times in the past and have been rejected every single time. A rollover from here, value basically, uh, we're looking at 1677 uh, or basically the very lows again. But at this point, we are rallying and uh, technical leaders, they are very bullish at this current stage. So we could go higher before we continue to the downside. We have been in, um, in a downward trend for uh, several months now and uh, rallies towards the 20 and even the 50 have been sold into quite heavily. So let's look at silver. So silver also uh, continues to rally up towards the 50 and it just we are basically stuck here. We are not uh, rallying above the, uh, the middle of the bullish band. Titan indicators, they are all turning around. So if we get a close above the um, um, middle of the bullish band here, then we could head towards roughly $28. Otherwise, uh, pullbacks from here opens the door to $25. So let's look at platinum. So platinum did fall all the way down to 1184 and then rallied to 1215. Technically, the English there are basically all over the place. MACD is flat, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So it's fairly difficult to say where we're basically going at this point. Uh, we have found support at the 20 and will most likely also find support at the 50. And uh, rallies from here will most likely find resistance at the top of the bullish band at roughly 1289. So let's look at pallium. And uh, pallium has basically broken out of this square. So this is finally going somewhere. So we can get rid of this. So we can roll this up. So we have finally broken out of uh, this square and it looks like we are going to go to fairly higher levels. So usually what it basically means that we'll um, increase the uh, height of the, this uh, square uh, to the upside, but it is, uh, we'll basically see where this basically is going because uh, we are significantly overbought. So if we pull back from here and then bounce from these previous highs, then that could be a confirmation that we are going to go significantly higher. But this is a massive move to the upside for Pallium. Technical indicators, otherwise MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is turning around and the RSI is flat at this point, but we are significantly over, uh, overbought. So let's look at uh, aluminium. So aluminium also rallied towards uh, higher levels here at uh, give or take uh, 22.26 and then broke down. And now we're trading at 22.07. Technical indicators, they are all very bullish at this point. There is still a lot of room to the upside, but this has basically been all over the place for the last few weeks. So gapping up, uh, gapping down, gapping up, and and basically been nearly untradable. Um, uh, other than that, it has bounced from the 20 exponential. That is probably the best guess where it could enter this market for a buy. Break below the 20 exponential, open the door to the 50 at the 2062. So let's look at nickel. Nickel continues to just trade sideways. And uh, yes, until we basically get a move towards the 20, uh, 200 moving average or a move towards the 20 exponential, there's basically nothing that is happening here. The technical leaders are all flat, and that's the reason, basically the reason why we're also trading flat at this current stage. So let's look at uh, sugar. So sugar, uh, yet again, broke down. Now we're having a crossing of the 20 and the 50 uh, moving average, and that is also a bearish sign. If we, if we take out these previous lows here, we could head all the way down towards 0 0.15. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So yes, a break above the 20 exponential and the 50, that could open the door to 0 0.1750, but it it's looking very uh, dire for sugar at this point. So let's look at cotton. 
So Cotton continues to uh, just to stay within the same area. So we are right. Uh, we're not rallying above the 20 exponential. We're not breaking below the 50. We're basically stuck right here in the middle. Technical indicators, they are either bearish or flat at this current stage. So a break above the 20 exponential could open the door to the, all the, uh, the previous highs here. A break below the 50, that could open all the way down towards 0 0.8. So let's look at COA. And as you can see, we continue to fall apart here and most likely going to head towards the, the 200 moving average, roughly at 2.4. So we have been trading in the highs here of 2.8 and the lows here at 2.2 and then in this mid range here at 2.6 and 2.3. And it has been nearly untradeable at the, for a really long time. It has basically been all over the place. So yes, I've just stayed away from this. Technical indicators, uh, they are all bearish at this current stage. It is most likely going to find resistance and support here at the 200 moving average and bounce or fall all the way down to the this range here around 2.3 before rallying to the upside. So let's look at wheat. So uh, yes, wheat, it has problems rallying about the 20 exponential. We did rally towards uh, the 20 exponential and then broke down quite heavily. And this is a really uh, bearish candlestick. So we're trading at 638 at this current stage. Technically, indicators, they are uh, bearish. For example, the MACD, Sarcastic has turned around and has crossed the signal line. CCI is still underneath minus 100, so it's still bearish. And the RSI is flat. So if you don't manage to break about the 20 exponential, then we're probably going to test these previous lows again and probably have a run at the 625. A break about the 20 and the 50, then that opens the door to these previous highs again of the 683. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button above on the see our newest videos. And uh, yes, good luck and thank you very much.